Canada. My name is Chris Ortega, lead auctioneer and head of U.S. coin production here at Stacks Buyers Galleries. Today on my desk, I'd like to share with you some of our highlights for our showcase auction coming up here next month in November. Uh, the first item on my desk is from the Battle Creek Collection. It is a dollar tone set, both uh, 1887 Morgan dollars, one gem mint state and the other one near gem, both toned very very lovely uh, this one's the obverse here's the reverse and then when we flip the slab over no toning here what makes this unique is the amount of time it took for this to naturally tone in a mint bag uh, i believe ngc started uh, slabbing this collection back in uh, 2005 but prior to that these probably sat in mint bags for for decades to acquire this uh, beautiful toning under the light, you can see some sea green and some magenta. Uh, really, really lovely toned pieces. And what's really cool is that when you flip it over, it's just completely brilliant. It's uh, absolutely no toning whatsoever that almost if you'd look at this, you wouldn't think that the other side would be this vividly toned. So this will be featured in our November showcase auction. And this is our lot number 3096. Next on my desk, I have a 1917D Standing Liberty Quarter. This is the uh, Type 1, an MS-66 full heads. Uh, what makes this particular piece appealing is uh, all the years that I've worked here at Stax, it's very rare to come across a Standing Liberty Quarter with this type of album toning. Uh, you typically don't see them like this, and both the obverse and the reverse display uh, this nice uh, original toning. Uh, on the peripheries, you see aqua green, and then as you kind of tilt it, you'll see some sea green and then a little bit of amber in the middle. And that's uh, true to both sides, a really uh, lovely piece. This is also going to be featured in our November showcase auction. Uh, apparently, the eye appeal is that great that even uh, CAC agreed and decided to give it a, a green bean here on the slab. Uh, this, of course, is the Type 1. It has the full head strike designation. Uh, the, these are the ones where the, the dates on the pedal stool and the eagles a little lower. The next uh, type twos are the ones where the eagles a little higher with the stars below. But this is, I believe, a, a wonderful example and we're excited to see this cross the auction block next month. Next on my desk, I have a 1927S Walking Liberty Half Dollar in uh, MS64 Plus with a CAC designation. Uh, what makes this piece attractive is the uh, peripheral toning and not just the peripheral toning on the obverse but you can also see it noted here on the reverse as well. The reverse is very brilliant, has a lot of luster and so does the center on the obverse. It's a very lovely piece. This will hit the auction block next month for our November showcase auction. And next on my desk is probably one of my favorite designs. I have an 1869 uh, Seated Liberty Half Dollar. This is a Proof 64 example with some beautiful toning on both the obverse and the reverse. At first glance, uh, you look at it and it does look fairly dark. However, once you kind of let the light do its work, you see some beautiful aqua blue on the peripheries and some really light amber in the center. Uh, this, I could almost say, almost looks cameo, but uh, the relief is very strong, as you would expect. On a proof, the reverse, uh, I believe you could see the aqua blue more on the peripheries. It's more notable here, but a very lovely example. With a mintage of only 600 struck in 1869, this is a great value for the type, and I expect spirited bidding at our auction next month. 